Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about Michigan and Attorney General up there, Dana Nessel, and her plans to proceed. Because, I mean, not to put too fine a point on it, but it seems like she got tired of waiting. In Michigan, there are a number of allegations surrounding people who may have participated in the elector's plot, how it's, you know, come to be known. Um, the attorney general submitted kind of a referral for federal prosecution. It's been like a year. And there hasn't been any public movement on it. So she has decided to reopen the investigation and move forward with it. Um, there are complaints from the GOP up there, basically saying that it's a political stunt and that the, the people really shouldn't want somebody who's going to use tax dollars to constantly go after their political enemies. That's how they're trying to frame it. I don't know that that framing is accurate <laughs> or that it's going to hold for very long. Some of the quotes coming out of the Attorney General's office really makes it seem like they're headed to a charging decision like now. Um, they're saying they're reopening the investigation, but some interesting quotes are, include, there is clear evidence to support charges against those 16 false electors. That's straight from the Attorney General. That's from Nessel. Um, I don't think that this is going to be a political show. I, I think that this is an attorney general at the state level who doesn't want to wait anymore, who isn't willing to see what Garland is up to um, and plans to proceed pretty quickly. I, I have a feeling that the kind of flippant response from the GOP up there it is going to come back to bite them. It doesn't appear that they're taking it seriously. And based on some of the public statements from the Attorney General's office and the information coming out, I don't, I don't think that this is a political thing. <laughs> um, it certainly appears that they plan on moving forward with charges very quickly. Um, and in Michigan, there are charges that kind of directly address this sort of thing. There are laws on the books about kind of what happened. Um, so I don't think it's a stretch to say that this will move forward pretty quickly. But it also should serve as a reminder that while many of us are growing frustrated with the Department of Justice's slow pace, um, methodical pace, however you want to frame it. There are state investigations that either are open or might be reopened at any moment. Um, there are a whole lot of people saying that the justice system is broken. And this is, this is kind of a sign that you're seeing state level attorney generals, attorneys general, um, kind of feel the same way about the speed at which the federal government is moving. Now, there are a whole bunch of reasons for the federal government to be moving as slowly as it is, um, but it doesn't look like the states are, are willing to wait much longer. So, this is something that we'll have to wait and see how it plays out. But I'm pretty sure you'll see this material again. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.